19 years ago, I saw my older brother on the family computer playing a game I hadn't seen before. He was walking around a massive 3D world, interacting with other characters. When he told me these characters were actually other people playing the game, I was captivated. He showed me his newly obtained sword and helmet, and when he equipped them, his character actually visually changed to show the equipped items. After thinking my mind couldn't be blown further, he showed me the skills tab. Oh boy. After his allotted hour was up on the computer and it was my turn, I immediately created my first account. RuneScape became one of the single most defining things about my childhood, and I often look back on these early days of playing as the true RuneScape experience. My current unguided playthrough is the closest I've been to recreating that feeling of discovery and adventure I had all those years ago. Now, let me just clarify, I don't actually think this is the true RuneScape experience. I think that definition changes person to person. For some, it might be bumbling around back in the day. For others, it's about setting personal challenges far outside the confines of the in-game world. It's ultimately whatever makes you have a good time. And well, for me, I've been having an absolute blast. Roll the intro. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. Last episode we started one of RuneScape's most iconic quests, Desert Treasure 1. After spending about an hour on what was quite literally the first actual step of the quest, we finally found out who we needed to talk to to get this quest up and running. Now we need to collect a bunch of items to help us locate four gems which are hiding the treasure we seek. Almost all the items needed are super straightforward, all but one. Magic logs. I'm currently 71 woodcutting, and so deliberating with how I might try and source some of these magic logs without a woodcutting grind is where we left off. Let's go. 12 magic logs. Fuck me, where do I get magic logs? Can I boost woodcutting? I don't know if I can, I don't know of any sort of beer or drink that boosts woodcutting. I don't know how else to get magic logs other than just chopping the trees. I'm pretty sure that you can't get them from Winter Todd unless you can actually cut the tree. Is that accurate? Is that correct? Let's go and play a game of Winter Todd and see. I mean, actually it's not going to help because there's a chance that I just won't get it in that single game. Oh, this is tough. How else can I get magic logs? I mean, definitely a boss drop somewhere, but I don't know what boss would drop that. I feel like Temporos definitely wouldn't dish them out unless you had the right requirement to actually be able to cut them. Might be wrong about that. Um, I haven't done Winter Todd in ages. Let's go and try a game of Winter Todd and just see, because there's no harm in trying, right? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's give that a go. All right, we're going to play some uh, Winter Todd and then get some crates, maybe a couple, and just see. I really don't think it's going to work, and I think we're going to have to grind out to 75 woodcutting, but let's just give it a go and see. Okay, cool. So we got five crates done. I forgot. Oh, my catch grew up. Nice. I forgot that it was quicker than I thought it was, so I've got five in the end. So let's just open these and see if we get any magic logs. No. Magic logs there. Okay. Nothing there. Oh, no. Some burnt pages, not bad. Some more burnt pages and a teak seed. Okay, no magic logs, so I'm pretty... Oh, I don't know, I mean, what's the chance? I didn't get any U logs either, to be honest, and I know I could get those because I can actually cut them. I don't enjoy Winter Todd. What the hell do I do? Gives me some good supplies, like that teak seed's pretty nice. What the hell kind of tree is that? Can I plant that at some point? Teak? I can, yeah. I think I'm just going to woodcut. Honestly, I don't mind woodcutting. Quite enjoy it. Very chill. And I've actually been doing a little bit of it in the background since I got to like 65 because I've been hoarding these uh, maple longbows and U shortbows and these are going to out for so much money. So I might just go and do U's for ages because it's pretty chill. Yeah, get a massive stack of them or do maples or willows just for the quicker XP. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I just don't enjoy winter Todd that much. Let's do that. All right, we'll be back in a bit. There we go, 75 wood cutting. With that we can now cut down magic trees and craft sturdy harnesses, I haven't got a clue what that is. Alright, now let's spend some time cutting 12 magic logs, which might take a little while, but we've got the magic trees over here. I believe that this area gives a little invisible wood cutting boost, um, but let's get chopping. Collect the magic logs and then we can continue with Desert Treasure 1. Let's go. Okay, cool. So we got 12 magic logs. That took about six minutes, which is great. Um, we now need to collect six steel bars, six molten glass, some bone, some ash, some charcoal, and a blood rune. So let's get gathering. Let's do the steel bars first. Okay, cool. We have nothing in the bank. Do we have any coal? We have some coal. Oh, we have charcoal as well. That's good. Do we have any iron? We don't have any iron. All right, let's grab our pickaxe. Let's head somewhere with iron. Where can we go? Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Right. Plan, 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 plan. We are gonna go to Fishing Trawler because I can pick up the stuff there to get the molten glass. In fact, 
I've already got five Mon Glass. Didn't even know. I have one Soda Ash and one Sand. Come on. Yeah, bucket of Sand. Sweet. Okay, cool. Right, let's head to Fishing Trawler really quick because that's the closest place I can think to to get some Iron Ore really quickly. I only need six. So we'll pick up six of those. We'll teleport back to Ardy. We'll smelt that into six steel bars. We then have the Soda Ash to make into a single Molten Glass because we already have five in the bank. And I think we then have everything we need. We've already got the bones, we've already got the normal ashes, we've already got the charcoal, and we have the one blood rune. So by mining this six iron ore, we will have everything we actually need. So let's just mine this. And the sixth one. Nice, okay, cool. Right, let's head to Ardy. And now we can smelt the furnace, make six steel bars here. There we go. And then we just wanna make some Soda ash on there, I think. Yep, there we go, molten glass, nice. Okay, and I think we have everything. Let's go and grab our magic logs, get the rest of our molten glass, and then we can head back to the desert. Okay, cool, the inventory is prepped. We have the six steel bars, we have the six molten glass, we have the 12 magic logs, we have the bones, ash, charcoal, and blood rune. We should be able to go back to Iblis and create the scrying glasses, as well as give him the stuff that he needs to cast the spell. Actually, how do I get through this gate? I need a, Oh. I don't think I'm going to have to do this all in one trip, am I? Because I've got my entire inventory is filled up and I need a shanty pass to get through this fucking gate. Oh, that is so annoying. And there's no bank down there. Oh, why have they done that? I thought they calculated it to a T so that you can fit everything all at once, but clearly not. Right, I'll put the stuff for the spell back in my bank for now. I'll go make the scrying glass first and then come back. That's a bit frustrating. All right, Eblis, let's talk to him. I have some of the stuff you're looking for. Thank you, pass over the ingredients that I may begin working on the spell. Before I can complete the spell, I still need the following items. 12 magic logs, six steel bars, six molten glass, one bones, one ash, one charcoal, and one blood rune. What the fuck? So I can't just give him part of it? Oh, I can, I do hand over steel bar, perfect, nice. Okay, give him the molten glass, great. Use the magic logs on him. Sweet, okay, cool, he's got some stuff. Right, let's head back. Okay, cool. The second inventory is prepped. We have the bones, the ash, the charcoal, and the blood rune. Let's head back and hopefully get this spell completed. Okay, Eblis. All right, use the bones on him. Let's use the blood rune on him. Use the ash, and finally the charcoal. There we go, that's enough charcoal, right. Talk to him. Excellent, those are all the ingredients I need to create the scrying glasses. I'll find a suitable spot in the desert to the east of here and set them up. When you're ready to begin your search, please come and find me there. I'll show you how to utilize the mirrors to find the diamonds. Sick, a suitable spot to the east, he said. I wonder if it's gonna be this circle here. Makes sense, right? Kind of looks like there's something on the map for it. Yep, I can see him in the distance already. Somehow he's managed to get that set up without moving. Perfect, there he is, Eblis. Right, let's talk to him. Ah, you got here at last. At last? It took me about three seconds to walk here. As you may have noticed, I've made the mirrors for the spell and cast the enchantment upon them. By simply looking into each mirror, you'll be able to see the area where the trace magics from the diamonds of Azanadra are emanating from. Unfortunately, I cannot narrow down the search closer with this kind of spell, but if you search the area shown to you, you may be able to find some clues leading you to the evil warriors of Zamorak who stole the diamonds. So you can't be any more specific about where to look for these warriors and their diamonds. I'm afraid not. Other than the direction that the mirrors are facing will be approximately the direction you'll need to head in. Okay, interesting. So each mirror is facing the direction. So for this one, for example, probably somewhere over here. Make sure to come and speak to me when you have retrieved all four diamonds. Sick, okay. Well, let's look into one of them. Let's look into this one. Whoa, there's a cutscene or something. Wait, what? Where's that? Oh, it's ended. I hope we get to look again. The way that the mirror is facing is approximately the direction you need to go in. Well, that was facing over here, but that did not show that direction. What? This is like the gnome stronghold or somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna struggle with this because I, I don't know if I can recognize that. But there's also six mirrors and only four diamonds, so I'm a little bit confused. The direction the scrying glass faces is roughly the direction you'll find the warrior, but I'm afraid I can't be any more help than that. Yeah, I don't understand why there are six mirrors when there are only four diamonds. As I say, the enchantment is very inaccurate. I can only focus upon the aura the diamonds have left behind them, so any place where the diamonds were present for a significant period of time will still be shown, such as the bandit camp where I make my home. My apologies, but magic is an inaccurate art in many respects. Don't forget to come back to me when you have all four diamonds. Right, first mirror I've looked into, don't really have much of a clue, so let's look in this one. The ice place. Okay, I sort of know where that is. I think that's what I needed Troll Stronghold for. Let's have a quick look on the map. That's up here, definitely up here somewhere. Um, 
probably up here because we needed to complete Troll Stronghold to get through, I believe, this section. So it's, I think it's probably around this way. Okay, cool. That's 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 all right. We can do that one. Okay, that makes sense. Although, again, oh, is it the back of the mirror then? Because this is not facing that north, is it? But it is to the north of here, sort of. Not really even, actually. I think I might just fuck that off what you said. He says something about the mirrors facing that direction, but they're not really, because this is definitely not that direction. But okay, cool, this makes sense, right. So what one that I can I can kind of locate? Now, how about this one? Okay, Canifis, easy as. Can do that. Is that a real player? That's cool if it is. Okay, desert area with a well, a smoky well. I know where that is. I know exactly where that is. It's here. I'm pretty sure of it. It's this dungeon over here. When I went looking during the family quest quest and spent fucking hours in this desert, this is definitely a place that I, I investigated and I'm pretty sure there's a smoky well here. Okay, what's the next one saying? Okay, a pyramid. I think that's probably just next to it, isn't it? Right, and this next one. Ah, oh, the bandit camp. That makes sense. So he said it would be accurate. So it might be in the bandit camp, it might not be. All right, so I've peered through each of the lenses. The Diamond of Blood is probably the smoky one, isn't it? I know this idiot. The Diamond of Smoke is probably the smoky well. That makes sense. All right, so, I mean, we may as well head over to the well because it's right here. Unless this is the pyramid, isn't it? Pretty sure that, yeah, it's right here. You can feel the mysterious power emanating from this obelisk. I just examined it because it's red. Oh, they're all, they're all emanating power. Can we go into this door? No. Can we go in through this, this back door? The passage doesn't lead to anywhere. Okay, interesting. Why is that one red? This pillar is red and the rest are gray. Unless this is like a blood pillar, that's like an ice one, that's smoke or something like that. Right, so first one off to a bit of a confusing start because I haven't got a clue what I'm looking for here. Let's head over to that smoky well. I can see it in the distance over there. Jump down there and see if we can get the first gem. I can smoke the smoky well. What does that mean? Do you want to turn the smoke overlay off? Oh, let's just leave that on. Let's climb down. I can see a lot of foul looking smoke at the bottom of this well. I don't think breathing it indirectly would be very good for my health. Oh, I probably need like a face mask, don't I, from Slayer. That makes sense. Uh, face mask, yeah, probably. I wonder if 10 Slayer is a requirement for this quest. Yeah, it is, bang on. Right, we need a face mask. Okay, cool, let's go to a Slayer Master. I guess the closest one I can get to is Berthort, probably. Or the quickest, anyway. Let's go to Berthort real quick. And let's trade, where is it, this guy? No, it isn't this guy, it's this guy here. And let's grab a face mask. Nice. Okay, cool. We got that. Right. Um, considering we're here, we could go and explore the ice place, actually, now that we're up here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. I have re-geared. I have some stamina fruit on me. I've got some lobsters. I've got my D-Mace. And I guess we just try and head up here. I don't really know what to expect. I think this is the route. So I know how to get to here quite easily. And I'm pretty sure we have to go up this way. You know what I should have done? Oh, I should have done that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I've recorded this whole series. I was about to say, I should have taken a picture of the mirror and what was through the mirror. But I'm literally recording every single minute of this. So I have that footage. Right. So I'll use that if I need to, to go back to it and compare. But I think it's probably going to be up this way and then up here. This is God Wars. I know it's not that dark direction. I mean, it could be somewhere around here. Haven't got a clue what this is, but I'm going to try this area first. Oh, I need climbing boots. I'm an idiot. All right, cool. Got the climbing boots. In fact, let's save some energy doing some efficiency plays here and let's head up to the ice place. Right. Okay. We've made it. Oh, that's definitely it. That is definitely it. That's the ice gate that we saw in the vision. hundred percent. Oh, it's all snowy. All right. We've got some ice trolls here. A little guy. Troll child. Let's talk to the troll child. Hello. It's just crying. The troll seems very upset about something. Maybe some sweet food would take his mind off things. Let's use a lobster on it. Oh, it's still crying. Doesn't look like that would cheer him up at all. Okay, let's try and go through the ice gate. The bars are frozen tightly shut and a sturdy layer of ice prevents youth from slipping through. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Some sweet food apparently we need for this troll child. What would be sweet food? Jeez, and there's nothing in the quest log, obviously. Sweet food. Um, alright. Anything sweet here? Stews? No. Pies. A sweet pie. Yeah. Sweet food. An apple pie. Or a red berry pie. Surely these would work, right? That's sweet food. Or cake. That's also sweet food. Cake would work. Okay, let's try cake. That makes more sense. I've never actually made a cake, so let's make one. Flour, eggs, and milk in a cake tin. I reckon I can get that from Lumbridge, right? Right, let's go back to Lumbridge, make a cake, and then come back. Uh, flour, eggs, milk, cake tin. Let's buy some chocolate as well, and we make one of each. I mean, both are sweet, right? So it should work, but let's use that on the cake tin. There we go, uncooked cake. Let's go and cook this real quick. Boom, cake. 180 XP for a cake, that's not bad. And now let's make a 
chocolate cake. Can we just add that chocolate bar to that? Yeah, you can. And then do that. Nice, okay, we have chocolate cake and a normal cake. Right, let's head back to Berthorpe and hopefully one of these two cakes will be sweet enough for the child. I think if that doesn't work, we can try and make a pie, but honestly, the cake feels like a pretty good shout. All right, let's head back. All right, we are back. Now let's use this cake on this troll child. Please work. Yeah, it gave it to him. Here there, little troll. Take this and dry those tears. Sniff. Okay, can we talk to him? Hello? Hello there. Why so sad, little troll? It was the bad man. He hurt my mummy and daddy. He made them all freezy. Bad man? He said it was because they stole his diamond. Yep, yeah, right, we're on the right tracks here. They never did. They found it and didn't know who it belonged to. My mummy always told me stealing is wrong. They would never steal from someone. Then he did some wavy hand thing and my mummy and daddy got frozified. A diamond, you say? Listen, I think I might be able to help your parents, but I need that diamond in return. I don't think they really wanted it anyway. They would have given it back to the bad man if he asked before freezing them. I give you my promise, mister, that if you unfreeze my mummy and daddy, you can have have this stupid diamond. Do you have a deal? Yes, we do. Absolutely. I'll get your parents back to you safe and sound. Okay. Where the hell are they? Let's talk to them again. You didn't free my mummy and daddy yet? Not yet. Please try harder. I love my mummy and daddy. Right, that's the most we're getting out of him. Anything on the, uh... Oh yeah, we do. Okay, here we go. I should head further into this icy area to try and find them. Okay, cool. Right, can we get through now? Oh, I'm sorry. My mummy says that we ice trolls are so cold we can freeze the air around us when we're upset or angry. I'm afraid I must have frozen those gates too much when I was crying. But since you told me you were going to rescue my mum and dad, you should be able to squeeze through the bars now. Perfect. Okay, cool. We should be able to get through now. Go. Yeah, we're in. We're in. Oh, I didn't see that. What did that just say? There's a warning sign. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Wait, what was that? I'm going to just go back through here to read that warning sign again. The area is so cold that you'll experience a constant slow drain of your stats while you remain in it. Brilliant. All right, we've got to try and do this quickly then. And there is a bunch of ice trolls. Let's get the prey melee on. Oh God, it's draining my energy. Oh God, I shouldn't have eaten that. I just went straight back down to zero. Let's try and get into this cave. The entrance of the cave is covered in too much ice to get through. Fuck. What do I do? Ice chunks, ice covered boulder. Maybe we can kill one of these ice trolls. Let's try and kill one of these ice trolls. Although my stats are being drained. I don't have much time to try and kill it. Fuck, this is pretty uh, pretty stressful actually. How can I get through that gate then? Maybe bring a tinder box with me and try and set it on fire or a fire spell. Blocked by five icicles. Okay, that's interesting, the fact that it says five icicles. Maybe we can come back here with five fire spells and cast that on the door. I'm struggling to kill this guy. I'm really struggling and my prayer is draining quite quickly. Come on. Come on. Just a couple more hits now. All right, we've run out of prayer. Oh, that's a big hit, 17. Oh, that's another big hit, 16. Come on, hit, please. Please just kill it. Nice, okay, we killed it. Do we get anything? No. Holy shit, I'm dying. Right, I want to quickly get out this way because I want to quickly ask the kid. Oh, God, that thing hit a 23 on me. Eat up, eat up, and get out. Right, let's go through this ice gate again. Okay, that was pretty stressful. Let's talk to this child. Uh, you didn't free my mum and dad yet? Not yet. And that's it. Okay, cool. He doesn't tell us how to get through that thing, but it did say, if you examine it, blocked by four icicles. Ha! Huh. That is interesting. I think we have to kill four more of these trolls to get through, potentially. That makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, I'm glad I examined it again. That's really interesting. Okay, I need to go and get my combat gear. Oh, fuck, this is hard because I'm constantly getting my stats drained. I wonder if there's a safe spot here. Hmm, I don't know if I should go back in here. I'm wondering if there's a safe spot around this, these rocks. That might make it a bit easier. I'm trying it. I'm trying it. I'm trying to test something here. I've just realized I have no food. Okay, they stopped attacking me in this area. This might be a little safe spot. I could try this with range. Might be the best bet, you know. And I could just bring a bunch of ranging potions. Do I have any? Uh, let's go to the Ferox Enclave real quick because I need to regen all my stuff because I am drained. Oh man, I'm so glad I examined that, that gate again the second time around because I would not have noticed it change from five to four. And that definitely makes me think that killing those those ice trolls is the way forward. Right, let's see. Have I got any ranging potions? I don't. Okay. I think I'll go melee. I think I will go melee. I'll take a bunch of prayer potions and strength and attack potions. Okay, cool. I have got my melee gear on. I've brought a bunch of prayer potions, a bunch of strength and attack potions to keep my combat stats high. I don't think I have any defense potions, but I don't think it matters because I'll be praying the whole time. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I'm going to take some good food with me. I've actually recently hit 81 cooking, which means that I can actually now cook sharks and I have quite a lot of sharks. So I'm going to go to Lumbridge real quick and cook some of my sharks up to get like a little bit of food here. That's a bit slightly better than my lobsters that I usually carry around because they aren't all too great. So let's head to Lumbridge and now let's cook some shark. 
I've actually switched to my D-Skim as well because I realised I can't special attack in that place and that's what I use the D-Maze for most, most of the time. So I'll, I'll take my D-Skim to save some inventory space. Wow, okay, we only burnt two of those sharks. That's really nice. I'm happy with that. Okay, I think we've got a perfect inventory to go back. I've also brought a tinder box just because I have no idea what I'm going to need after I get through this gate and it's all icy, right? So I feel like I might need a tinder box. I have no idea, to be honest. Let's just head back, see what we can do if we can get through. I'm really hoping that the gate hasn't reset and gone back to five icicles because if that's the case, it might be really difficult to do because I'll have to do the whole thing in one trip and then if I have to teleport back out again, I'll have to do it all over again. So I am really praying that it still says four icicles but we'll see when we get there. Before we head back to the Iceland, let's just check in on a little grind I undertook a couple of episodes ago. If you missed it, a few episodes back I fell in love with the fish sack. My love for fishing and the fashion escape of this sack meant it was something I had to get. This was until I realised you need a thousand pearls to get it, and you get about 15 pearls an hour. Either way, it's something I've been working on in the background, so let's check in. Um. Um. What the fuck? What the fuck? I got the pet. Unfortunately, I was playing on mobile at the time and not recording, but I caught a screenshot here. I have no idea how rare this is, but I posted it on my community page and saw a couple of comments saying around the 1 in 600k mark. This is hilarious. I still don't have the big tent yet, which I can only assume is a lower drop rate. Either way, this is my first pet on Unguided and my second ever pet in Old School RuneScape. I actually obtained the runecrafting pet on my main like five years ago at around the 30 runecrafting level, which is insane. Either way, I absolutely love this little guy. Although at the moment, you'll probably see me have my little cat with me more often than not. And thanks for all the love on the post, by the way. I really appreciate it. Right, now it's time to go back to the Iceland and see if that door regenerated or not. Let's go. Okay, moment of truth. I can examine it from here. Yeah, okay, blocked by four icicles. So it doesn't reset. That's good to know. So I think we have to kill four more trolls. I'll probably kill them near the gate. I don't know if it's just this region or what, but I'll probably have to kill them near the gate maybe to make it work. I have no idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's get in here. Right, let's drink a potion, get some prey melee on, drink another potion over there. Sweet, we've got some boosted stats. Right, let's kill some ice trolls. Come on, we need some big hits to get through here quickly. That's what we want, a 23. Yes, this is good, nice. Okay, we dispatched that guy pretty quickly. Yeah, three icicles, okay, we're good. We're definitely making progress. Are they actually visually disappearing, the icicles? Oh, they are. That's sick. Oh, I'm very glad I tried killing one. I was so convinced I'd have to go back and get like five fire spells or something. But it makes sense, right? Because the baby said that when they get sad or something, they make things cold. So maybe these trolls are sad. And by killing them, we're making them happy. Well, I guess they don't exist anymore. So that's probably what's happening. But it's a bit rough, isn't it? Like, is this the kid's like part of his family? Is this his community? It's like, hey, go save my mum and dad. And to do that, you need to go in there and kill half of the townsfolk. Because that's what it feels like I'm doing. Alright, either way, we've only got one left to get rid of. Let's kill one more of these. I wonder if we're going to have to kill the guy with the ice thing then. With the with the diamond. So we probably need to do another fight after this one. I'm glad I brought my sharks instead. Feels weird having different food to lobsters. Come on. Nice. Okay, we can get through. A chunk of ice falls away from the cave entrance. I think we're in. Yeah, we're in. Okay, we are still in a snowy area and it's draining our, our life and stats. The only annoying thing is that you can't run. Let's whack some prayer on. Holy shit, I'm getting jumped. Where is this guy's parents? Okay, we can turn that off now. Oh, you could feel an evil presence nearby. That's pretty cool. Where are I? Oh, hello. Camille. Holy shit, I've been frozen. Um, Magic? No, he's using melee. Holy crap. Okay, this is this is a boss battle. This is a fucking boss battle. Okay, he's not doing he's not dealing a huge amount of damage with his ice barrage, which is good, but I still don't have an awful lot of food. Come on, give me some big hits. Nice, that's what we want to see. Come on, he looks pretty cool though. What is he meant to be? He's like a ghostly figure. Come on, die. Oh, this is fucking epic. Come on. Give us some big hits. Holy shit, he's hitting me. He just hit me for a triple five. Please just fucking die. Let's prop up again. Oh, I've just stopped hitting. I've completely stopped hitting. Come on, give me some good hits. What is going on? Yes, come on, that's it. I need a couple more hits, just like that. Why have I stopped hitting? I've completely stopped hitting here. Holy shit, I've run out of prayer points. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Yes, only one more hit. I've only got three more food left. Yes, there we go, we fucking killed him. Well, that must have been the bad man the troll kid was on about. His parents must be up ahead somewhere. All right, let's grab that super restore. We'll take that. Okay, I think we've killed one of the guys. If I remember correctly, there's four bosses that we have to kill, or like four people guarding the diamonds, right? So we killed one of them. We've got chocolate cake as well, I'll eat that. Oh, fuck, unless I was meant to, oh, fuck, was I meant to use that on the, the two trolls? Oh, I pray I was not meant to use that on the two trolls that I'm about to meet. The parents must be here somewhere. Where are they? What's that? There's an ice ledge up there. 
use ice ledge, but it's taken me around this right hand side. I think I have to walk all the way around. Can't currently see the parents anywhere. Guess I have to use this ice ledge? Kind of bugging out a little bit. Can I just walk across it? No, I'm walking around it. Let's use this ice ledge. I assume I have to, right? I don't think I'll make much headway along that icy slope without some spiked boots. Oh, fucking hell, do I need spiked boots? What even are spiked boots? I thought climbing boots were spiked. I think I have to go back. I think I have to go all the way back, don't I? Okay. All right. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, let's just go back. I, can't, I don't think I can do anything else. I don't know what to do. Unless I can just walk around it. I don't think I'm going to be able to walk around it. No, I can't walk onto this bit here. Bollocks. Okay, let's go back then. Um, let's go to Berthorpe. What are spiked boots? Are they a Slayer thing? Unless I can get Dunstan, the guy who made the spiked boots in Death Plateau, to make me some spiked boots. Does this guy sell spiked boots? Insulated boots. Boots of stone. No, he doesn't make spiked boots. So I think I probably have to get Dunstan, right? To make me some spiked boots. That would make sense because that's what I did during Death Plateau. Okay, all right. Let's try that then. Let's go and grab an iron bar. Fuck, I don't have an iron bar. Okay, let me grab my pickaxe and we just go and mine some iron. All right, let's, let, let me sort out my inventory now. We've got through the gate and we have killed the main boss of this section. So I'm hoping that I can just go back in my graceful maybe. So let's give that a go and I'll sort this inventory out as well. Okay, I'm literally so paranoid that I'm gonna need the chocolate cake that I just ate a section of to save the two parents that I am making another one because there's no way I'm going all the way back there. Hopefully finally getting up this slide, getting to the top of it and they're gonna be like, oh, we need something sweet. And it's the two chocolate cakes I was given. And I've already got three quarters of one because I fucking ate a slice. Right, there we go. We've now got two full chocolate cakes. Let's go and teleport to the Chronicle. We're gonna go and get some iron ore. I think we only need one bar, if I remember correctly. During the quest, we were able to make the spiked climbing boots. My question is then, can I use the spiked climbing boots to get there? Or do I need to take a pair of climbing boots as well as a pair of spiked climbing boots? I haven't got a clue. I don't even know if this is the right answer, to be honest. It's the only way that I know to get spiked boots though, right? Because it's the only one that I've seen. All right, let's get that. Let's get some of this. We'll get some more whilst we're here. Uh, and then I guess just go go to oh god i haven't got a teleport somewhere with a furnace is there a furnace in berthorpe no pvp arena we're going to alcarid nice okay we have an iron bar okay cool let's go to berthorpe now please can you make me some spiked boots i bloody hope so because otherwise i really don't know what to do the quest log doesn't tell me anything which is great come on dunstan hello mate Da, 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 da. Yeah, can you put some spikes on my climbing boots, please, mate? For you, no problem. Do you realise that you can only use the climbing boots right now? What? The spike boots can only be used in the Iceland, but no one's been able to get there for years. Okay, cool. I don't know what he means by you can only use the climbing boots right now. Yes, I still want them. Bang on. Right, we've got the spiked boots. Okay, yeah, cool. So we can't wear those until we get there. So we need a normal pair of climbing boots and we need the spiked boots. I'm glad I did this Death Plateau quest recently because I think if I'd started this journey with Death Plateau, I would have completely forgotten about that by the time I got this quest and that would have been a fucking nightmare. Right, let's grab my other pair of climbing boots. Okay, cool. I think we've got a pretty solid inventory. I don't think we have to fight anything now. We should be able to just get there. Maybe I should take a prayer potion just in case. Let's take a prayer potion. All right, let's head back to the Iceland. Okay, we have made it back. Let's wear these spiked boots and let's use this ice ledge. Okay, that's cool. All changed. Oh my god, I've just fallen flat on my face. I guess it's a bit slippery. Are the parents up here? I can't see them yet. There's an ice gate up here though. I really pray I can just walk through this ice gate. I am so praying that I can. All right, come on, please let me walk through it. Go through ice gate. You squeeze through it. Are they here? Oh, hello. I just came out of nowhere. Let's go across here. Come on, are the trolls up here? Yeah, they are. And we can smash... Oh, I've fallen on my face again. And it's like we can smash the ice block. Please tell me it's not going to need like a hammer or something stupid. No, we can just bonk it. Oh my god, we can't bonk it. And I'm falling on my face repeatedly. Oh, what do we need? Talk to ice block. There's a thick layer of ice covering this troll. You need to find a way of shattering it. Oh, you're joking. I can't, is it, I can't use a chocolate cake on it, can I? <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Oh my god. Oh, hello. I hit it. Wait, is it just a chance of hitting it? It's like a low chance of hitting it. Oh my god, please stop falling over. I definitely just did eight damage to it. Come on, keep going, keep going. Please. We can definitely do this. I just hit damage on it. One, we hit a one. Come on, give it a good bonk. Yeah, 
We're out. There we go. Please free my husband. He's still trapped in there. Oh, thank fuck for that. I thought I was going to have to go and get like a, a hammer or something. It's just a luck, basically, if you, hit a, if you hit any damage on it or not. Fuck me, that was a close call. That could have really, really sent me down a dangerous path of trying random shit. I'm so glad I don't have to come all the way back out here. Come on, hit. I feel like I've got the perfect weapon for this as well. If you want to smash eyes, a massive spike ball would do the job. Yeah, are you okay too? Yeah, I thought we were done for. Why ever did that nasty Camille freeze up here anyway? He must be trying to protect his diamond. You mean that diamond I found the other day belonged to him? Why didn't you ask for it? It's not like I really want it or anything. How did you know that we had that diamond anyway? Your son told me. That's why I rescued you. It's very important that I have that diamond. Oh, my poor baby. He must be so worried about us. He certainly inherited his dad's smarts. If he told his fleshy that he had the diamond and not us, we might never have been rescued. That stupid little troll kid had the diamond all along. <laughs> Don't you talk about my baby like that. Now, now, dear. All's well that ends well. We've been freed and this fleshy has certainly earned himself that diamond. Please, can they just teleport me back to the gate? Let's get out of this terrible place and see our son. <laughs> yes, they're teleporting me out. Thank fuck for that. Okay, you're free. That's right, son. And it's all thanks to this brave adventurer here. Now make sure you hand over that diamond he was looking for. Here you go, mister. Thanks for getting my mum and dad away from the bad man. Don't worry about it. Just as long as I don't have to go back into that blizzard. Agreed. Let's fucking go. We got the ice diamond. Yes, we've got one of the four diamonds already. I'm happy with that. I mean, that did take fucking ages, but we have, what, one of the four diamonds. Right. On to the other three. Now we have our first diamond, we can return to what was our original goal, heading down the smoky well in the desert. If you remember, we needed a face mask to get into there, hence why we headed over to the Berthop Slayer Master. Now we've got it, let's head back to the desert and see if we can retrieve another diamond. All right, cool, we are at the well. I have my face mask and I've also brought a rope because it actually looks like there's a rope already on there. So maybe we don't need it, but I thought I might need a rope to get down here. Anyway, we should be able to climb down this smoky well now. Yes, here we go, we are in here. There's some fire elementals. There's a load of smoke on the screen, which is pretty cool. Ah, dust devils. This is good to know actually, because I don't think I knew dust devils were down here. If I ever get them as a slayer task in the future, now I know. That is great. Okay, there's no map for this place. I've just tried to click it, but there's no map here. I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess I just run around maybe? Don't know if these guys are going to attack me. I assume they will. Oh, what's that? Okay, there's a burnt chest right there. That looks like I probably need to go there, right? I mean, let's try and get there. I doubt it's going to be this I doubt it's going to be this simple, but okay, nothing's attacking me. Some fire giants. Okay, that is attacking me now. Let's try and get this burnt chest. There seems to be no way to open this chest. Engraved where the keyhole... Oh, I didn't get to read that. Should be as a message. Light the... F Light the path and find the key. Right, okay, so we need to get a key for this chest. Light the path and find the key. Are these torches, like, lightable? What does that mean? Light the path and find the key. There's, a, there's something over there. There's a gate. What's over this way? There's something over here as well. Okay, it's clearly a puzzle. Oh, what's that? A standing torch over there. That definitely looks like you could light it. I think I need a tinderbox, don't I? Yeah, there's a standing torch over there as well. Let's quickly run over here because there's loads of lava. What's this place? What the hell is that? There's a dragon scimitar on the floor. Wait, no. What the hell is this place? Dusty Alive. It's a skull wearing a fez, dragging a dragon skimmy behind it. What in the crap is that? Not too often we get visitors down here. What is this place? Beats me. All I know is that there's dust devils in here, and I'm here to make sure the only people with permission can kill them. Oh, is this like a slayer area? Yeah, okay, cool, right. That has nothing to do with the quest. I think this is just a slayer area. Um, okay, cool. Let's ignore that then. So it's definitely these standing torches, an old mystical torch. I definitely need to light that. Right, let's go back to the PvP arena and grab a tinderbox and then head back here. All right, cool. I am back. I have a tinderbox in hand. Um, and I think I'm just going to go and try and light these pillars. I think I'm just going to try and do all of them. I'm really hopeful it's not like an order that I have to do them in because I wouldn't have a clue. I'm just hoping that I have to light all of them and then that will allow me to just open the chest. And maybe there's one in every corner of this place. But let's start with this one over here. Let's use that on the standing torch. You light the torch. Sweet. Okay, cool. That worked. Right now, let's go up to this one here. I realise now I probably should have bought some sort of prayer potion or something in case that when we open that chest we get attacked. Anyway, let's light this one. Nice, we light the torch. Don't know how many there are, but I think I can kind of get a gauge of how big this place is. Let's run along here. That's the chest location. Any more torches? Oh, there's one over there, right in the corner. Okay, there's one over there as well. Alright, I think there's two more. There's a gate here. I guarantee I'll have to go through that gate. I don't know what for. Is there maybe a torch inside there? It doesn't look like there is. I mean, we can give it a go. Let's see if this gate opens. The gate is locked. Okay, cool. I wonder if maybe I light these two and then go into this gate. This must have some sort of significance. It looks like a room. Let's use this tinderbox on here. 
Nice, good stuff. Now onto this last one. Let's use our tinder box on the standing torch. There we go, the path is lit, now claim the key. Right, okay, um, is the key gonna be in this, this area? Or should we just go back to the chest? I mean, this area has to be something, right? The path is lit, now claim the key. Maybe I should try the chest first, because it said lighting the path would claim the key. Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna go through these gates to see if it does anything. Oh, it's still locked. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, let's go back to the chest then. That must have something to do with it. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's not a Slayer area. Maybe it has nothing to do with the quest. All right, here's the chest. I'm gonna prepare to be attacked when I open this because I have a feeling that that is what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna get ready to pray. I don't know what I'm gonna have to pray, but I'm gonna get ready to do something. All right, let's turn our run on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, what's it gonna do? What's gonna happen? You open the chest and take the key. Okay, we got it. Warm key, examine. The key is unusually warm to the touch. Using the smoke dungeon in the desert treasure. Oh, that's just telling me what I use it for. The key is unusually warm to the touch. The southwest torch burns out. Oh, okay, the torches have a timer on them. Okay, can I try and use this key on the gate? The torches are all burning out. I don't know if I actually need to relight them or if now that I've got the key, I don't need to relight them. Okay, this must this must definitely open this gate though, right? This makes sense. And I have a feeling, mm, this is interesting. It's a warm key and it's saying it's unusually warm to the touch. I wonder if I have to cool this down somehow. All right, let's see if we can use this key on the gate. Oh, it worked. Oh shit, there's a guy. Okay, uh, let's just do that. Oh fuck, the heat from the, what's happening? The heat from the warrior causes you to drop your weapon. Okay, I can't attack this guy. Can I punch him? We can try punching him. Holy shit. Okay, he uses magic as well. Am I gonna hit anything by punching? Okay, I can hit, I can hit. Maybe kicking him would be better. I think I'm gonna have to teleport out of this. I cannot see myself kicking this guy to death. I have no prayer potions. Uh, I'm gonna try and brave flick. I'm really not great at this, but I think if I have any chance of doing this. Oh, he's got magic as well. There's definitely a way to be able to equip my weapons for sure, but I think I might be able to kick him to death. Yeah, we're hitting. We're not. We're not doing too bad, you know. We're hitting quite well, and I think I'm prey flicking successfully. Come on, hit tens with my foot. It's impressive. I think I'm doing this. I think we're gaming. Come on. Oh fuck. Okay, he doesn't actually use mage that frequently, and because I'm wearing robes, it's actually to working wait what the hell is that guy meant to be here is that a random event at the completely wrong time i think it is holy shit the mage is hitting hard my hands are sweating right now the problem is i can't actually pray flick without losing prayer points i'm not that good but i think i'm doing enough to conserve my prayer points and as long as i have enough lobsters and we got him to half health oh i missed that one god i'm concentrating so fucking hard here okay i need to eat oh don't want to miss that prayer though let's eat up some lobsters I'm literally fucking sweating here. Okay, eating those lobsters lost a lot of prayer points, so I need to be good. I need to get some good flicks in here. Come on, we can do this. I don't know what's better, kicking or punching. I feel like kicking is better, right? Because you can hit harder, can't you? My finger is starting to hurt from the way that I'm trying to prayer flick here. Come on. Yes, let's fucking go. Yes, let's... Oh my god, we did it. All right, yeah, we've got the smoke diamond. Okay, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Holy crap, that was... Oh my god, I am sweating. I am genuinely sweating. I just fucking locked in at the end there. The concentration on the last half of that fight, I just didn't even say anything. I was just sitting there. I just stopped talking. And I finished on 12 prayer points. Okay, cool, we have the smoke diamond. That was actually quite straightforward. That only took like 15 minutes. That's brilliant. Right, now we've got two of the four diamonds. It's on to the next one. Let's go. As always, thank you so much to all those that you can see on screen here who keep the channel going with their support via YouTube memberships. As usual, a massive thank you to ASDZXC404, This Not Dog, Thior Bjornsson, Jack, Itchiest Bug, Renak, Jax, Sleek Fabs, Patriotic Skull, Josda, Timothy Wisenand, Wainai, Teeters, Master of Reality, Carter Parry, Kunai, Some Commoner, Sloth337, Riley Ghoul, Corey, Kaiser Keej, Jimmy Dory, Kiki, Kachow, I'm Judgment, Gib50, A Giant, Bave, Beetle Guard, Morgan Gebert, Gadget, Timothy Chen, Liam Marin, Cat Planet, Mandeep Bessie, Gum Knuckles, Jack Church, Dracovian, Devosaur TV, Michael Elvram, Coupon John, Newt, and Frog Go Boom for subscribing to the Quest Helper plugin tier of membership. Thank you all again.